So today, I'll be showing you how to use Nearby Share to wirelessly transfer files from your Android phone to a Windows PC and also from a Windows PC to your Android phone, okay? Now, I have the Pixel 8 here, but this works on any Android phone that has Nearby Share. So the first thing you want to do is install the Nearby Share tool. So go to your favorite browser and then go to this website. It's an android.com page. So it's on android.com slash better together slash nearby share app. This is the official nearby share from Google. I mean the official nearby share app from Google for your Windows computer. So just go ahead and click on get started and download the application. Now I'm gonna leave a link to this website in the description below. Now, once it's downloaded, you can navigate to the download location and double click on the file. It's called Better Together Setup. You can see I've tried to download it a couple of times. So just double click on it to install. Let me just minimize all these other windows so we can clearly see the installation process. Once the installation is complete, that window will just disappear from your screen. But if you now come down here, you should see nearby share. You can click on that and that's going to bring up the nearby share window. Now, if you want to, you can sign in, okay? So you don't have to, but it's a, it's a good thing to sign in. So you can only set uh, file transfers to your contacts or your own devices for security reasons. But when it's like that, in fact, let's go ahead and sign in to our Google account. And I'm gonna sign in to the same Google account that I have on my Android phone, okay? So let me just uh, pause the video here. Now, once you sign in, you have to make sure that you uh, give permission. So click on sign in again, and sign in is successful. So you want to close this window and go back to the app and you should notice that it's now signed in, okay? Now, everything is ready. So now let's try to send a file from my uh, Android phone to the PC. So I'll try with a photo first. So I'll just go to the gallery, select a random photo like this one, then tap on share, and then select nearby share see it right here nearby share and it's gonna start looking for devices so it says it can't find the receiver so let's go to nearby share settings and look at device visibility it's set to contacts let's set to your devices okay so it says only devices that are signed into that account so let's try again share nearby share and it's currently looking for nearby devices the range is about five meters so it should work oh yeah i i noticed the problem so the problem is right here on the pc it says device is hidden so just uh let's just click on that and choose receive from your devices which is the safest way but also you can choose receive from everyone in case you want to just receive from anyone. For me, I'll just choose receive from your devices, okay? So that was our uh, issue. So let's try again. Let's go to photos. Let's try and send that again. So share, nearby share, looking for devices. One last time nearby share and now my device has been detected so you can see talk to pc tap on that and you should see the file there you go so the file has been received and i can open i can even see the path to where that uh, file has been saved i'll click on open and it's a photo so let's open with the photos up and there you go so there is our photo the one we just shared okay now, it's the same for videos. 
let's try with a file in the files app okay so let's go to files and let me try and send this uh contacts file so three dots tap on share from the share menu tap on nearby share and again my device has been detected should be a very easy file to send and it really is as simple as that now let's try to send some files from the pc to uh the android phone so i'll just go into maybe a folder like this one pick a photo let me pick a photo like this one okay now there are two ways of sending okay one is i can drag the photo right into the nearby share app like that and once i uh, drag it in there it's going to list for me nearby devices so i'll choose my phone and as you can see i'm receiving the file right now so it's currently sending Well, it seems to be sending. Yeah, so there's slow internet for now, but it's sending as you can see. It's a 22.1 MB photo. Okay, so the internet is kind of slow for today, but it's sending. So really the internet, it's the connection. I'm not sure why it's taking so much time. Let's try and send, uh, let's, let's cancel that and try to send a smaller file like this PDF, okay? So put it there. It's gonna look for nearby devices, finds my phone, click on that, and it sent. So that was faster. I'm not sure what the problem was with the other file. You can always try again. This is slightly smaller. Let's try and send this one. Looking for nearby devices. finds my phone, click on it. Yeah, that's gonna take a minute. So a seven MB file takes about a minute to send. Well, I'm not sure why that is very slow, but that's basically how it works okay so let's just wait for it to finish it says successfully sent and i can view the file or files from here so here's the image and here is my pdf file okay now that's basically how to use uh nearby share to send files to and from you also have a couple of settings here so if you click on the settings icon you can change your device's name. This is the PC's name or nearby share. You can change the uh, received files destination. Okay, that's the default destination. You can change that if you want to. And uh, you can also change device visibility. That's basically how to use nearby share to send files to and fro your Android phone and your Windows PC. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.